Welcome to day three of the Caribbean cruise. This is Grand Turk, the first island. We were docked from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., which was pretty early. Cameron and I got off the boat by 8 a.m. My first time standing next to the boat. And here we are walking to the island. We went to the beach and we just swam in the water and enjoyed the sun for about two, three hours. And then we walked over to Margaritaville. Cameron and I did not do a, an excursion on Grand Turk Island. Uh, there was none that really stood out to us or they were sold out or we just didn't have the right shoes because I didn't bring any tennis shoes, which was a horrible idea. Here is Margaritaville. They had a pool over there. Of course, lots of drinks and food. We did not eat or drink anything on Grand Turk. We went to explore their plaza and shops. In Grand Turk, we did not get to see much of the island. So we didn't take any taxis or anything like that, like we did with most islands. This island, we just stayed in walking distance. Sometimes I forgot it was Christmas time because being from Indiana, I'm used to it being cold or snowy and here we are with palm trees. So it was interesting for me to see Christmas trees and palm trees. Their alcohol was ginormous. I was like, wow, this is, this is a lot. It was December 16th, which is my charter day for my sorority. Shout out to Tall Chapter. So I wore my pink and green dress. And then we went back to the boat around 1 p.m. We were leaving at 2. There were still a lot of people on the beach, but a lot of people were going back to the boat. Uh, Cameron and I were pretty hungry and we didn't want to buy food because there was unlimited free food on the boat. So we decided to go back. Cameron obviously was very hungry. He got a Guy Fieri's burger. We loved their fries. And I got a taco bowl. I went to go get some cake. Cameron went to go take a nap. And I just went up to Serenity, the 21 and over area. I found a nice spot by the dock in a cabana. And by now it was probably 2 p.m. So most people were getting back on the boat. Here's a few hours later. I actually fell asleep up there in the cabana for like two hours. Uh, then I finally got up and I got showered and 
came to the back of the boat, which is my favorite area. I was just enjoying the clouds and the water and the view. I ran into Cameron's cousin who was out here reading a book and we were just chatting for a while before dinner. Like, is, is this really real life? Like, am I really right here right now? Eventually I went to wake up Cameron. He was asleep for like three hours. <laughs> and then we went to go get some drinks from one of the bars on the Lido deck. It was really good. Cameron thought it was a little too sour at first, so we got some more flavor put in it. It was pretty empty. It was about six o'clock, which is one of the dining times. And they had a lot of people watching movies up on the screen. Then we went to dinner, had to head back to our room, grab some things before dinner. <laughs> we on, oh we on two. I forgot, I thought we was what on like- What you trying to take elevators? I thought we was on like 10. You want to make it? No, do it. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, no, hell no. Jump from, jump from like the fourth. Okay, this last one. Oh, this is our floor. <laughs> Next time, okay? Tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow. I love dinner because they had a menu with various options to pick from, and you could literally order as many things as you want. I don't know where the rabbit is. <laughs> the rabbit is ground up. No. Yeah, it's tripping. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's rabbit. Oh. That's rabbit. Chicken nuggets. Classic. <laughs> I had rabbit and lamb, which was a kind of a weird mix, actually. These are Cameron's cousins. They had us do this a lot just to participate in dancing, but you know, Cameron has to take it to the next level. Three milk? Yeah. What is that? Like what it was like a cake or a brownie? Okay. This is really good. This is really good. Really great day three in Grand Turk. I'll see you in the next video.